Hi Aquarius, so welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So here we have a general message for your sign. You guys know, of course, that this may or it may not resonate with every single one of you, okay? And also the energy can be interchangeable. It could be the other person or yourself, just take it how it fits for you, okay? So um, up here at the top, we got your oracle messages. Over here on the left, we have your energy aqua. Here in the center, we've got your partner or whoever it is that you're connected to here. And then on the right, we've got some near future potential outcome energy. So where things might be headed here soon, as well as some advice messages from spirit down here at the bottom. All right, so let's get going. We'll talk about your oracles first really quickly, and then we'll get into the actual message. All right, so coming out first here, we have stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So some of you, either you or this other person, somebody is still hoping that things will work out here, that you guys can... I don't know, come back together, reconcile, or just get back on a good page. Now, others of you, if you're single, this could be you just not even wanting to focus on that person anymore. Maybe you want to manifest somebody new, okay? And Spirit is saying to try to remain optimistic, um, regardless of whatever you've been through in your past, you know, everyone's not the same, okay? So try not to be cynical when it comes to um, future partnerships, all right? So next, we also have worth waiting for, and it says divine timing is at work in your love life. Somebody might be waiting, okay, waiting for the right person to come along, okay, if you're single or, um, you know, if you're currently dealing with uh, somebody or there's been some sort of separation, somebody's waiting for communication or some sort of closure possibly, all right? Now, we also have love yourself first, and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? So some of you, you may need to start doing what's best for you, okay? and uh, putting yourself first here, whatever that means for you. All right, so let's get going. We're gonna start with your energy first, Aqua. You guys have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Some of you, you have feelings for whoever this is, but you feel like you may need to move on from this, okay? Maybe you feel like there's an unhealthy attachment or you and this person just can't get it right. So it's like you're really trying to use your logical mind versus your feelings here, okay? Even though they are there with the Knight of Cups, you could just be um, trying to move on as best you can. Now, uh, your person here, they have the Two of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you, there is a very strong bond here that you and this person have, okay? Um, some of you, this person may also be in another relationship is also what I'm sensing, but they still have feelings for you as well. There's been this kind of bond or chemistry or connection that is formed that is just not very easy for them to let go of okay and they may be waiting all right with that seven of pentacles waiting for you to come back waiting on the right time okay to do something here maybe to leave their partner i'm not sure this may also have something to do with money and finances but i do think that they're contemplating something here okay doing some deep thinking here with the seven of pentacles and wondering if they should invest in this uh connection all right now you guys also have the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so some of you um some of you just want to start over with someone new or to maybe relocate as well with that six of swords maybe you're moving to a different place um city you know state whatever or new job possibly okay with the page of uh pentacles and the ace of pentacles is about new opportunity and starting something over okay now um Others of you, if it is about a relationship, okay, or this person here, and it's not about work or career, I think that you do want to, um, you know, again, maybe work things out here, but you want something that's going to be solid, okay, with the, um, you know, these two energies here, all right, no more games. Now, next, your partner here, they have the uh, King of Swords and the Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries here. Some of you, if you're a female watching, you may be caught kind of between two men, okay, um, or you have two options here, basically, all right? Maybe you're having some trouble choosing, um, you know, one of these people. But I think that um, some of you, you're dealing with somebody who's very cold, okay? With the King of Swords, very icy here. They act nonchalant, like they don't care. Deep down, I think they do, okay? But they don't want to look vulnerable here, or they feel like they need to protect themselves as well, all right? And again, you know, with the Emperor, this is someone who's kind of got a cool or cold cold exterior as well or somebody who's just not very emotionally expressive it doesn't mean that they don't have emotions maybe they just don't want to show them to you right now all right guys now you guys have the uh king of swords and the two of swords so both of you got the king of swords here okay so you guys could be mirroring each other in that sense and um you know like i just mentioned you know most of you already know what he represents is somebody who's kind of closed off emotionally or emotionally unavailable someone who's just trying to completely detach from this 
situation but again i feel like it's been a little bit challenging for some of you because some of you feel stuck here okay two of swords um maybe a little bit indecisive some of you might be just straight up ignoring them as well okay you may have cut this person out you don't care anymore or you're acting like you don't care and you may not even want to talk to them okay is uh what i see now your person here they have the star card and the judgment some of you might be dealing with another Aquarius like yourself. Okay, that's your guys' card there. Um, some of you, because I'm seeing this two ways. Some of you, this person does want to heal this situation. Okay, they still have uh, hope in it, faith in it. Like I said, with the stay optimistic energy up here. Others of you, this is them just needing to heal on their own. Okay, focus on their own healing or overcoming whatever this was for them. Okay, because maybe this situation affected them in a negative way as well or it hurt them. Maybe they didn't tell you that and maybe they are going through some sort of healing process. Okay, making a judgment call. Okay, somebody's making some sort of final decision here. Um, I'm not sure if it's to leave or to stay, but some of you, this is karmic energy. Okay. This could have been a lesson that this person had to learn, or maybe both of you had to. All right. Now you guys also have the nine of swords and the four of wands. So some of you, um, you are doing a lot of thinking about them. Okay. Even if you're acting like you don't care, you could be ignoring them. Maybe you ghosted them, whatever the case is, they're still on your mind. Okay. It's like, you can't forget this person. All right. It doesn't mean you never will. But in this energy, I see where you're still thinking about them. And some of you, you want something stable here. OK, with the four of wands, <clears throat> excuse me, this is all about stability. This also could pertain to some sort of home situation. Some of you may live with this person or maybe you did before or some of you have some sort of, um, I don't know, stress or anxiety, worrying about a uh, living arrangement or moving, relocating, whatever the case is. All right. But again, getting back to if it's about love, I think that um, some of you, if you have history with this person, this is a twin flame. OK, there was some sort of soul contract here with you and this individual. All right. And again, some sort of karmic lesson. But there's still attachment here. All right, guys. Now, your person here, they're still attached as well. All right. They got the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So they want to hold on here. Somebody's not letting go. All right. Um, at least not energetically. You're still on their mind as well, but you're dealing with someone who's kind of greedy. Okay. Maybe they want to have their cake and eat it too, or they're stingy with finances. They don't want to share. They don't want to give anything here. Okay. And they want to keep you for themselves, yet they don't want some of you they don't want you to move on okay and they just they don't want to open up guys i hate to say it like that okay they just kind of refuse to do that right now and with this ten of wands this situation has become hard for them okay it's become very stressful here either not talking to you okay if you're the one that left and you ghosted them it's been a burden okay not hearing from you or that you guys are just not getting along okay so um, yeah, somebody's really stressing out because they still want to hold on to this connection. And this could also be other things going on in their life. Maybe they're having some trouble with finances here or just a lot of different um, things or responsibility on their plate. OK, with that Ten of Wands. Now, let's talk about where things might be headed here. OK, guys. And when I say, um, you know, this energy over here being the potential outcome energy, it doesn't necessarily mean the person is going to come back right now, guys, or here soon. It just is the energy around the connection okay um either for both of you or one of you here okay just you have to wait and see i guess but um we have the lovers and the uh judgment again yeah so a karmic contract or some type of uh, lesson that had to be learned here now there is still energetic energy well energetic um you know an energetic connection here basically maybe a telepathic one okay that's what i'm trying to say somebody is still missing this connection still thinking about it um, with the will of fortune and the devil here, it's, it's a little unhealthy. All right, guys, somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn or there's some sort of toxic energy around this situation. Okay. And I just feel somebody really wants another chance. Okay. Because it's addictive, whatever this was. Okay. It could be a sexual addiction or just the codependency of the situation. Okay. Somebody is kind of addicted to whatever this cycle has been. Um, we also have the Eight of Swords and the King of uh, Swords again, okay? So yeah, somebody's cutting cutting out, cutting this energy out or at least trying to or trying to detach here because it becomes a little too much, guys. The Eight of Swords is about confusion, not seeing things clearly, 
anxiety coming along with this uh person or whatever this is about okay and somebody's just a little bit tired about that now we also have the six of cups and the knight of cups yeah now some of you may have kids with them or again there's a soulmate energy here with the six of cups and this also represents nostalgia okay so yeah somebody still misses this connection and maybe wants to come forward here maybe with an apology or some sort of peace offering or to see if you guys again can get back on track so let's talk about your advice messages really quickly these may pertain to this situation or it may be about something else in your life again it'll be different for all of you just take it how it fits if it does okay so we have high priestess and it says you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching so the high priestess is all about wisdom and um being intuitive okay but she's also a very quiet energy so some of you there may be the, the need for you to kind of pull back, okay? Pull back your energy. Um, maybe just not even talk to this person right now, okay? Until you guys can figure things out here, all right? Some of you may also be uh, tarot readers, like myself and others here on YouTube. Maybe you're thinking about starting a channel, possibly, is what I'm picking up now. We also have um, Leap of Faith, and it says, take a risk and put your heart's true desires into action. Yeah, and some of you, it's about moving, okay? Relocating and um, starting over, um, others of you, we also have focused intention, <clears throat> excuse me, and it says, keep your unwavering thoughts and feelings focused on your target and you will make your mark, okay? So whatever it is that you are wanting to go after, whether it's about work, career, school, whatever, then um, you got to stay focused on that, okay? If you want to bring that into fruition. All right, guys, so that's what came out. If this resonated, Aqua, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, I appreciate you guys tuning in and I wish you the best. Take care.